We have seen how we can have a user enter data in a JSP and read the data from a servlet. That is through a request.getParameter and then the name of whatever the field is. But what if we want to go the other way? Let's say we have a data in the servlet and we need to get it to a JSP. For example, maybe we part of our application, we have someone select a record and we want to auto populate a screen and allow them to make updates. So we need to get the data from the servlet and send it to the JSP. That is done through doing a request dot set attribute. And there's two parameters. One is the name. This is like the variable name. I wrote MSG for message. And then the second is the value. And I made mine say enter another turtle. So I'm thinking after the person enters the first turtle and click save, remember it saves it to the database and it reloads the JSP. So let's put a message on the JSP that says enter another turtle. So that information will get sent in the request as a attribute called MSG for message. Then in my servlet, I need some way to grab the data and display it on the screen. So um, the very first time this JSP is called, uh, there'll be no message because the person has never entered the first hurdle. So I use the uh, greater than less than percent sign brackets. So that means anything between these brackets is Java code. So I figure if the attribute is null, then that's the first time the page is called and we don't need to display any message. So I wrote if request.get attribute of MSG is not null, then we're going to do the next line. If it's null, we just skip it. And in this line, all I want to do is put on the screen in the HTML file the value of MSG. So that is out.print and in parentheses request.get attribute and then the name of the attribute in double quotes and a semicolon. So now let's run the application. So we'll do control build and we'll do run. Remember the first time there will be no MSG attribute, so it'll be null. So the JSP will just skip over it. Okay, here we go. We're doing build. All right. So you notice here's my JSP. There's no message. Uh, so let's put in a weight of three length of eight, health is great, breed is diamondback, uh, Deep Creek Lake, I click save, see here it says enter another turtle. So that message got generated, that data got generated in the servlet, it was set to an attribute and it was read and displayed and became part of the HTML over here in the JSP. And that is how you can have data go from a servlet to a JSP.